Hi guys, welcome back. It's Aish here again. Um, I'm here to show you a little haul. So if you don't want to see a haul, feel free to leave now. Otherwise, keep on watching. Um, yes, it's birthday month and there's a possibility that I might go haul crazy and I'm trying not to. It's a lot of the stuff that I've picked up and will show you today, I actually picked up in um, mid-April and um, last week. So it's, it's quite a few weeks to make my birthday um, any the excuse I need so I did purchase some of these in April but they were for my birthday and I haven't actually even swatched any of these other than I think one item but I could be lying and we'll see how we go okay the first thing is um, for those uh, for Aussie girls my chemist was having a big um, catalog sale for perfumes because of Mother's Day so I just picked up another perfume that I've been longing for which is a Bulgari Jasmine Noir and this is the Eau de Parfum in 30 mils now I love I, I think I've mentioned in the past that I love the Bulgari Omnia the one in the brown bottle I love that that's my signature scent I should have put this out of the box and I thought I'd just pick this up it was only $30 and I just love it it's a gorgeous little bottle as well um, and it smells as the name says jasmine -y place I went to was Priceline. Priceline was having a 40% off all makeup and of course gotta go and check it out. So I looked at my wish list to see what I wanted and there's also you know you've got the wish list on paper and you've also got the wish list in, wish, wish list in your head and everything always becomes clearer once you actually walk in the store and go oh my god I so want that. So I went in there as to Priceline. Priceline, Priceline, you said it's a Priceline. The first thing I picked up was, and I haven't used it yet, is um, the Bourjois 123 Perfect 3 Pigments Corrective Foundation. Now I picked this up for 20 no, I picked this up for $10. This wasn't part of the 40% off, and it's in number 54. What I tried out, it's supposed to be help with redness and um, different stuff on your face, so I thought try it out and it says 16 hours where my big thing is I think I've mentioned in the past that I've sort of given up on you know making your pores look smoother or you know poreless or whatever I actually just want long wear I want long wear foundation that doesn't transfer when you give somebody a hug so I'm hopefully the reason why I went in there one. was for this reason only and I picked up some other items which is the rapid lash I love rapid lash I've probably been using it for about 18 months love it love it love it love it so I picked up two these were part of the 40% off. Um, what can I say? It makes your lashes longer. Now, if you've never used it before, I, word of warning, you can get a lot of eye sensitivity in the first week. I found that the corners of my eyes dried and were red, but were not painful, but they just were quite, sen the skin was quite sensitive. But after the first week, um, it was all fine. And I think I had read some reviews, and it might have been also in the boxes too, that something like that might occur. And I thought, I'll give it a week and a half, see how I go, and then um, I'll discontinue using it if it continues. But it was fine after that. And I think now one, one of these probably lasts me about six to eight months. Yeah, so... I have a, probably almost two years of worth of use here, so I'm very happy to and glad to pick those up. I think they came up to about $39, and they usually retail for $65 in Australia. And the next item I picked up was an Australis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder in True Translucent. There you go. Now this item is, I think, like the HD powders, it's just white, um, very finely milled. Sorry, I have no idea where they've stuck this down because I can't... Oh, there we go. It's all stuck down so you can't see it. So it's got a little sifter. Word of advice, don't peel these off. Just punch some holes and otherwise there's always too much product comes out. So I thought I'd give that a try, try with the 40% off. It's always good to support Aussie brands. Next is the Mineral Therapy Illuminator by Face of Australia. Now, Face of Australia has a number of item, um, of these illuminators. There's a almost like an orgasm coloured one, um, a bronzy coloured one. Um, I think there's another one and also this one. This one looks close to the Max Strobe Cream, but all this Max Strobe Cream is much whiter. So, But I thought... You know what, if I'm going to enjoy that, because I'm almost out of my Max Strobe Cream, so if I enjoy this, I thought, what a bargain. And I'll just show you the, put way too much on. See that shine? Look, you can probably see the difference. 
So I love that. So um, can't wait to use that. And there's no there's no real scent. So which is really cool. Alright guys, I'm so cool. tired. I've just been meaning to record some videos, but I've been working 12, 13 hour days trying to finish a report. And um, this is probably the first opportunity I've had to actually record something. So hopefully some of these swatches will show up okay in the, um, what's the word called? Not ambient light, what is it called? Just um, indoor lighting, I suppose. Models prefer highlighter in Glitz and Glamour. This reminds me of the, the Laura Mercier highlighters, so I thought I have to pick one up. I've always looked at it and I thought, well, with the 40% off, I'm willing to give it a go. So that's the finger swatch there. There's quite a few colours, but this one almost has a pinky tinge to it. And it almost looks, I don't know, it's a familiar colour, but I don't know which one it is. And I, There you go. So I thought that would be a cute highlighter. Because I've got like a whitish highlighters and I've got bronzy highlighters. But I don't have anything that's quite pink. And um, so I thought I'd pick that up. And that was less than 10 bucks. I think it retails for $10 and then obviously the 40% off. So I thought... Of course, I'm going to keep two eyeshadows from Essence. Um, the first one is number six, Metropolitan, and it has a, they call it a sparkling effect. So that's the colour there. That's the name. Is it? No. There you go. It's just a gorgeous, I'm just trying to see if it, where it's true to pan, but... I don't know, there's something about this colour, I just couldn't walk away from it. And it's got some glitter in it. Hopefully it doesn't there's no fallout, but I just I just had to. I think it came to a dollar or something like that. I can't remember what the prices were. I'm so professional, aren't I? Yes, I am keeping track of the prices. I just haven't put these ones in my spend expenditure log log log. And the next one is Party All Night, and that's supposed to be number 35 in a metallic effect. So that's the colour there. And this is a beautiful gold colour. Oh, well, it's, yeah. Gold. Goldish, platinum-y. There you go. A Mumpkin Bath Bomb from Lush. I had to. I went in there. I haven't been into Lush since the beginning of the year and I think I've done pretty well so I thought I'd go in there and just get a limited item um what's the word bath bomb is this a bath bomb or a bath I think it's a bath bomb but that's cute just like a little pumpkin very fruity I can't remember what smoke soap it smells like but it's I don't know strawberry raspberry oh god I love it I love it I love bath smelling all fruity and nice I'm so professional, aren't I? Uh, I ordered some stuff from Kiss and Makeup New York. Kiss and Makeup New York is a US-based web company. I mean, US-based shop, and they've got a web store as well, and they happen to deliver to Australia. And um, they were having um, free postage to anywhere around the world. Now, their postage is quite cheap. It's quite reasonable. It's $9.95. And they have products or brands from Trish McAvoy, um, Laura Mercier, NARS, Smashbox, I can't remember what else. So I thought I'd take advantage of the, um, the, the, the free shipping. And I thought I'd, I just picked up a couple of items. There's been quite a few items in my wish list that I keep on saying, oh, the next time I put an order in, this is what I'm going to get. But I, I think I've controlled myself really well. And it came within a week. I actually thought this would take a month to arrive. So there you go. This just came in one of those little parsley packs and see so I haven't even swatched these so the first one I got was the happening iron cheek palette from NARS and I've been wanting both this one and I think and God created women they didn't have any of those and I th I'm not sure whether they've still got these on the website so apologies if they don't so that's the packaging there and in here you get the blush orgasm yes orgasm um, so you just get a little plastic thing, Laguna, and you also get a really large mirror and four eyeshadows. And I just, I just love the palette. I thought it was a palette that I could use on, um, any trip. I'm actually enjoying, um, all in one palettes at the moment. I'm so professional, aren't I? Now I'm swatching. I would have to say that this brown colour 
and this beige color would be the most pigmented these shimmery ones not as pigmented but just they're still gorgeous oh my gosh I'm so excited to finally be able to use these let me see that's not going to come up on the camera look what I'll probably do is more than likely is just um take some photos of these tomorrow before I post them on I don't know if you can see those but love them they're gorgeous and I won't swatch the um the bronzer and the blush because everybody's seen Laguna and everybody's seen orgasm and the other thing I picked up was something that I've been coveting for a while now last year um NARS was having an event and one of their NARS artists from overseas, oh god I can't remember his name and I follow him on Twitter, he came down and you can get a free makeover thing with one of the artists with his assistance. Now the colours that they put were just absolutely stunning, they're not, with the eyes it was quite dramatic and they layered colours so there was quite dark colours and then they put a purple on top and another colour on top, it was just, the, the technique was amazing and also on my lips I chose colours that I would Watch, never ever I had use. purchased so the lipstick quite a while back in Morocco and I wanted to get the lip gloss that they used Morocco. over it and this is it. It's not a colour that I would normally wear. It's like a it's like a terracotta but it's got a lot of pink in there as well. Well in my eyes anyway especially on my lips. So that's the colour there. And then they layered it with this beautiful colour and I don't want to I'm so professional, aren't I? My only problem with these is because I saw on Temptalia the small brushes, but let me do this first. So it just gives it a nice sheen and it gives it just a different dimension to it with the gold sparkles. But look how small the brush is. Oh my god. It's freaky. Yeah, so they're the only two items that I picked up from Kiss and Makeup New York. And then I went shopping with a friend and Inglot was having a promotion for some of their nail polishes and I've been really intrigued with their O2M breathable nail enamels which basically they say that your nails can still breathe through these. Um, so I thought I'd pick that one up of those and this one was 623 so it was just about, I think it was around the $10 mark. Now Inglot doesn't... Um, what's the word, name their colours, so it's 623 unfortunately, and it was just a really unusual colour. Now unfortunately, again, because of the lighting, it's not going to really show up, and let me see the brush on this, I haven't even, <sighs> so it's one of those stock standard long thin brushes, but it's just a, it's got a duochrome to it, not a duochrome, it's got a sparkle to it, it's like a, almost like an orange, and then it's got a bit of a sparkle to it some gold shimmer through it I should say Can you see that yeah so I love that and like I said it's probably it's a unique color that I don't have in my collection so I thought I have to pick that one up. now for those of you who don't know Mecca Maxima, Mecca Cosmetica, Kit Cosmetics they're very similar to Sephora um, in the US and in Europe so it's all my, always a joy to go there because they always have testers they always have stuff that you can use to put on your face and they they you know, most of the girls are really, really nice, some of the guys do, and give you samples. So I thought I'd go in there because a new product was coming to Australia and I was going to wait for somebody's um, review on them, but I couldn't wait. So I picked one up last week and I've been wearing it every day since. And I've actually got it on today. And that is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. Say hello to the camera. In Dim Light. Now... This is supposed to be like, well, ambient lighting powder, basically. It's supposed to um, diffuse um, fine lines and, you know, just give you this awesome glow. And there's six colours and I thought I'd choose a dim light one, which is a neutral beige. But there's a, a pink one called Moonlight, Mood Light. There's, there's quite a few different colours depending on the look that you're after, including um, quite radiant ones. But this one was... I felt was probably the most suitable for my needs so that's the packaging there and then this is the color so it's just a warm beige I really like it and they retail for $62 here in Australia I use it as a setting slash finishing powder I'm not sure if this is going to show up if I diffuse it yeah you can't see it 
but you know if you get the opportunity um, to swatch head down to Mecca Maxima or Mecca Cosmetica um, either in a freestanding store or in Maya loved it like I said $62 I really like it having said I use it as a setting slash finishing powder I do actually use a different setting powder through my t-zone and then I brush this what is it how does Josh Collier put it sweep this over my face and I do enjoy it and pretty much lasts the whole day um, what do I want to say about it Gulan I'm still unsure whether I think these are the same as Gulan's balls with the meteorites or whether I prefer this more to the meteorites or whether I just think that they're completely different I think they are very different this well the one this color that I've picked up is not as sheeny I want to say sheeny I mean the other ones might be but this one is so I think I would say that I'm happy to have both of them in my collection yep because I actually do want to get another one of these and I've already got two or maybe three balls as well but so really really like that well worth the $62 would love to pay the 45 but okay the good news that I've got is that one I've got a birthday giveaway so you've got to go if you haven't watched the birthday giveaway go and watch it subscribe like comment that's all you have to do the easiest comment in the world and you're in okay the good news is that I know that a lot of us here in Australia watch YouTube and we watch a lot of um, uh, youtubers from the US and we enjoy watching them and they're always talking about Ebates and um, various other websites where if you go through their log on through their website and then start your shopping to the Nordstrom's and the Sephora's or whatever they get some cash back well we've got it here in Australia Yee! Um, it's called starthere.com.au I've got the link below and basically you get cash back for your purchases so you can purchase on sites like ASOS, Strawberry Net, Topshop um, Expedia so you can book, you book your holiday and you get cash back and all you have to do is log on register log on through their website and go through to the other website through their one and they track your expenditure and you get a cash back oh my god so that's what I did and that's how I discovered that um, my friend had wanted to purchase something from strawberry net and because she knew that I got a good discount I ordered it for her and I went through strawberry um, went to strawberry net through starthere.com and I thought, well, while I'm there, I might as well pick up something else for myself. So, and I really love the the YSL Rouge Velup shines in. What did I get? Do you remember? Was it Fuchsia? Yes, Fuchsia in excess. I got Fuchsia in excess, and I thought I'd pick up um, another more neutrally color, especially in the winter. I like wearing this sort of stuff. I really like the slip on these. I like how much they last. Sorry about the air quotes, and I also like that they they're not very drying on my lips, and they quite they're quite moisturising for me anyway, because I don't really have too many issues with drying lips or chapped lips. That's the word I'm looking for, chapped lips. Sorry, I'm a bit mental today. So I thought I'd pick one up, and this is a Rouge Velup Shine in Beige Instinct. I'm so professional, aren't I? Oh, look, all the details are going to be below. And. That's the pack, gorgeous packaging. And this is the colour. I'm so happy that I get to finally wear this because I've been holding out wearing these until birthday month started. So this is a beige, yeah, beigeish colour. But it's probably um, with your pink lips. If you've got pigmented lips, some of your lip colour will come through and pretty much play with that colour. So, so I'm loving that. that lipstick and I'm loving the fact that we've got the equivalent of Ebates in Australia and you guys, I don't know how you, how they do it, I don't know, I don't know how it all works, but you get money for spending. So whatever discounts that you get through, whatever website you're going through, you're also going to get some cash back. Why wouldn't you? I know I would. I know. This is probably has to be one of the most worst hauls on earth. I know, I know. But you know what? I'm so professional, aren't I? Just raw, in your face, aish. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. You guys rock. And remember, I do have a give giveaway video, so I'll put that link below as well. Okay, take care. Ciao.
I'm so professional, aren't I? 